seen the risk of doing it. Houston's in an awful spot. Houston has had to lose 20 games because their picks go in Oklahoma City if they don't. Mm. If they don't go to the bottom of the league because of that awful Russell yeah. Westbrook trade. So yeah, you can yeah. end up looking stupid pretty fast, giving up multiple first round picks. But it's either or, John. You know, you're probably not getting a deal uh, done right now if you're not putting it on the table. You just don't dig into your pocket for four picks unless you're getting a slam dunk player in return, or you think you are. Obviously, anything can blow up in your face with injuries or somebody not performing to expectation, but you're doing it for a high, high level player, not a rent, not a, not a, not a band aid. Okay. And, th and th that's where we're at here. Or a young player that you're going to have for years to come could flip like I said, the line. I, do it for, I would roll the yes. dice potentially for like, not. Four, I don't know, four picks, but I, I would up the price for Alonzo Ball type player, okay? Like, oh, here we go. Damn it, John. Well, no, I mean, like I said, the reason Alonzo oh. is because okay. young, you could build a, you could build him around him as part of your core. You could decide to lock him up and pay him in the offseason. New Orleans is in a tough spot. You're going to make your big three core. You're, if you can only pay three guys real money, it's got to be Zion Ingram. And, and is Lonzo going to be one of those guys? Are you locking him up long term? I don't know that they necessarily want to do that because they're losing with this with this group right now. So I know, like, and again, KOC mentioned it in this piece here, they're in a tough spot because they're afraid they could either lose him for nothing in the offseason to an offer sheet or be forced to pay him more than they want to pay him, and they don't yeah. know what to do. So they're in a bit of a crisis sort of situation here. I'd be yeah. more interested in that personally than in terms of giving up assets and locking a guy up long term. I'd be more interested in Lonzo than John Collins, but that's just me. I don't I know. If he's gonna try, I just think New Orleans going to tread that situation lightly. They're going to try lightly on that. I mean, obviously, that, that's a big piece. They're going to um, freeze and be paralyzed, and then the offseason is going to happen to them, and whatever happens, happens. I think I, I think they're just going to balk. That's the spot Atlanta's in, too. After what happened with Drew Holiday, you know, I think they're going to be a little more careful, no? I, I just – listen, I'm, the way you feel about him, that's how I feel about Harrison Barnes. Like, like if it's if it's not Harrison really? Barnes, no, then I don't want it. Yeah, man, Harrison Barnes, listen, whether we're talking – Looks like he's uh, off the table now. I know, right. Oh, well, that's, that, that's, that's long gone now, but again – what to your to what you said, John? Addressing a point, uh, addressing a position in the in the roster that they need help in, addressing the wing position. So whether it's depending, you know whether it's three point thing, shooting, but, but whether it's here's pacing. Why, here's why yeah. Lonzo makes more sense from from the Celtics standpoint. Danny always talks about making moves for the both the short and long term. Lonzo helps you from day one. Because one of your problems is ball movement. Guess what? Lonzo is one of the best ball movers among young guys in the league. So that helps you short term. Long term, his three-point shooting, his perimeter game is getting better. He physically is going to get stronger. He is going to be your future point guard once Kimba's off that max contract. And he'll be, what, 25 maybe or something right. like that? And, but and so to me, New if I'm going to overpay one. for a guy – I'm going to do it for that guy because he has a clear role. John, yes. but the problem the problem with Harrison Barnes, he's a band-aid. Harrison Barnes has no long-term future in, in Boston if you were to bring him in. And the assets that you have to give up are going to hurt you dramatically down the road when you are going to be needing to yeah. fill the back right. end of your roster right. because yeah. you're going to have all these max contract guys. So the thinking with the, the thinking that Barnes is a realistic option right now. It may, it may in yeah. the future, maybe, but right now, like the, the Pelicans, they're not going to let that guy go right now. They got to be no, careful. No, but you might take saw, on a bad contract. You they saw what happened with Drew. You may bail them out of something. You may give them first round picks. You take off a contract using the TPE off their hands, like a Reddick or something. Like you could do Reddick, things yeah. there. You could Bring do him. Things. You, Bring him. But you could do yeah, things yeah, that work, and that wouldn't that wouldn't kill you either. So you might be able to give him some relief where they need it. I, I again, I don't know if it's doable. All I'm saying is, I would like for the Celtics maybe the off season. Maybe the off season. Don't, don't freak yeah. out and say I need something to kind of just a little band aid or a little salve to fix something that's ailing me now that isn't part of my long term future. I. Don't do that. I would rather pay a, a premium price for something that you think you actually want and then hold on to it for longer. And I think and, Lonzo fits into that piece. So that's why I'd be willing to give more there to make that happen than any of the other guys who I think will be okay. That's, and that's that. another one that's got to happen now. Off season sign and trade. This team just isn't in a cap position to make those kind no, of deals. Right. Yeah, and so this is why – 
Ainge isn't dumb. He's got Zarin in his ear talking about the books and what can happen now versus what can happen later. And they've talked a lot about standing pad and being comfortable with the situation they're in. I'm not buying it. Like later, it's going to be much harder later to do the kind of things they want to. Would you do smart? Would you put smart in there for Lonzo? We've talked about that before too. I was thinking maybe even Kemba. You know, like it's, I would. Yeah, Kemba, yeah, you can't would. do it because the idea, the point is, they don't want to spend this money, so they're not going to yeah. eat more years of Kemba. By the way, I thank goodness I didn't do a Kemba apology camp because he's back to early season Kemba the last six games. I told you to wait. I told yeah. you wait a week or two. Yeah, that was good. I love Kemba. I always thought you. Uh, I just don't like the way he's playing. I love him. I just don't like his play. Yeah, I but love. It, I, I'm the same guy. Yeah. If if this is all about participation awards and trophies like that, Kemba's like my MVP. Yeah. I love Kemba. <laughs> yeah. Right? He came back early. I, love Kemba. Marcus, I, I can tell you now, Marcus Smart would absolutely devastate me uh, if you put him in a deal for Lonzo. It would devastate the hell out of me. Now, would I do it? Mm, I think I just might. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I think I just might. That's um, the epitome of now and it, later. Because if you think you're not going to resign Smart, and and you push your chip, yeah. if you think That's you're not going to resign him in his next deal, you you cut bait a year early and you push your chips in on Lonzo and say I'm going to pay oh, this guy. That yeah. would hurt me so bad. It would hurt. Damn, Damn, I would, I would do just it. do pair together. Like I, I would like that too. I've tough. tossed around Smart for Collins too. I mean, I think Smart's a guy you have to consider right now because of the contract. You, you know Especially, what I would fear though. If I'm the Celtics, my, my fear in moving Marcus was that he would be Tony Allen 2.0. Remember how Tony went to Memphis and all of a sudden they became a completely – he literally changed everything about that organization. They were not yeah. grind. They were just god awful bad before he yeah. got there. And all of a sudden they've got this new identity. Marcus could do that with New Orleans. And you're pairing him with, with Brandon and Zion. Oh, my. Yeah. LeBron is thinking like Boston don't do that. Boston, don't do that. I will give back some of my Boston Red Sox ownership if you don't do that deal. Don't let Marcus Smart go to New Orleans because then they become a problem. Yeah. They become a big problem. And if you're the Celtics, guess what? Lonzo helps you become a problem out east. This is a, a potentially mutually beneficial sort of situation. But, again, you, you got to start. It hurts me. Every time you talk about a trade, what we what Celtics fans and we have too often done in this room is we, it has to hurt a little, you know? Um, so this hurts. It has to hurt a little. Every trade's got to hurt a little. So if you if you're really starting to love Rob like I do, I, I, watching him go is going to hurt a little bit. Um, and and it's the same thing for Marcus Smart. And if you love Marcus as long as wait, I wait, have, wait, and wait. still do. Yeah, I'm wait. feeling a part of the Jalen Brown people. If Jalen oh, no, Brown, oh, you put you put ball. Rob in this, you put Rob in this deal too, in this proposed deal, John. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I'm not. I'm saying any deal. Look, I'm saying no, no, I'm any deal. Has to hurt a little, which means it's got to be Rob or it's got to be Smart, and yeah. or I don't know who else. Because honestly, there's no other player on no, this team. Right. That can reach down and you're say, right, Get Smart away. That, that's, don't take my Smart we away. Have to, we have to keep reminding Celtics fans of that constantly, right? Every single night, where every time we do this show, we have to remind them that yeah. every team in the NBA isn't trying to make the Celtics better, right? Yes, they want to make themselves better. Okay, that's yeah. the point. You know what else that's the whole. That's the whole point. Oh, 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 oh,